Hey writers, Ingrid Sundberg here. I'm a young adult author and this is Ingrid's Notes where I'm talking about creative writing and craft. And this is the third video in a very small series where I'm talking about the bedrock or philosophy of Ingrid's Notes and that's these three words, courage, conviction, and certainty. And today we're gonna to talk about certainty. Yes, I'm getting my notes. Okay. So certainty can be kind of a difficult word for a lot of us to really wrap our head around. It makes us a little uncomfortable. It often kind of inspires this image of a pompous asshole who thinks they're right all the time, that they know everything, and they're rather unthoughtful towards other people. Conversely, there's an alternative idea of certainty because it comes with this very famous quote, which is this, the only thing we know for certain is that nothing is certain. So how can certainty be part of our philosophy? So what I wanna do is reframe this word as one of empowerment. When I use the word certainty, I don't mean that you're right. I don't mean that you know everything. What I want you to do instead is I want you to be certain about one very important thing. I want you to be certain that what you have to say is important and that there are readers out there who need to hear what you have to say. Okay, so when you write a book and you put it out in the world, you want everybody to love it, but newsflash, it's not going to be important to everyone, and that's okay. What it does need to be is important to you. And furthermore, beyond that, knowing that your work, the story that you're writing, that you're actually writing it with courage and conviction, doing that means you can be certain that your story will resonate with the readers who need to hear it. This story needs to go out into the world, and in particular, those readers need to hear it from you and you alone. Yeah, I know that there are lots of ideas and themes and story premises that get reused over and over and recycled, and it can often feel like that we aren't original, you have a specific idea, but then another book comes out with a similar idea and you start to fret and worry that you don't have any original ideas. That's all bullshit. You don't need to worry about that. This is what you need to know. This is the one thing. Some readers will only be able to hear that story no matter if there's another book with a similar premise, no matter how familiar it might be, some readers, your readers, will only ever be able to hear that story and have it resonate with them because they've heard it from you. There's something special about you, something about your voice, your particular perspective, your style, the way in which you approach to this subject matter, something about that connects with them and your story is the one that will actually deliver that message to them. Even though there might be other books with similar types of premises and themes and characters, your book will connect with that reader. Those books probably didn't connect with that reader. That is what makes you original. Your voice, your perspective, your particular style of writing. So know this, when you put your work out in the world, do it with the certainty that your voice matters because it is actually your voice that makes it matter. So go forth and write with courage, conviction, and certainty. And if you're enjoying these Ingrid's Notes videos and philosophies, then please subscribe here on my YouTube channel or follow my blog, or you know, come say hi to me on the internets, which is at Ingrid's Notes. Have a fabulous day, writer writers, and write with courage and conviction and certainty.